Well, very good morning and thank you for clicking on the video. Today we're at Miserden, and Miserden House and its incredible gardens that were de developed in the 17th century. We went to Miserden in a previous video and we went around the lovely village and the church and we discovered the woodland walks that cover, crisscross this estate. And I said I'd come back when it was a nice day, sunny, and we'd come and visit the gardens that are award-winning and the house. So here we are, it's a lovely sunny day. And yeah, I'm gonna show you around these immaculate gardens. The house is private, you can't go inside, but obviously we can take a really good look. And it's got some lovely woodland walks, an arboretum, and it's just absolutely incredible. I mean, if you look at the setting here, it's above what's known as the Golden Valley, a fantastic picturesque slice of the Cotswolds. And um, yeah, that's where we went in the other video. If you've not seen it yet, it's on my um, YouTube channel, um, Miserden, and at the village, the estate, and have a look at that. But we're gonna focus on the house today. I have a look at these amazing gardens. It's quite a sunny day. There's a bit of cloud around now and again. So I'm taking my chance to film when the, the sun is out. There's also a chap on a mower doing the lawns, which obviously is a job he's got to do, but sometimes it um, can get a bit loud. So apologies if you don't hear everything I'm saying. I'll try and reduce the noise as much as I can. Um, but obviously he's got his job to do and he's doing a great job. So come with me as we explore Mizzen House, Mizzen Gardens and the Mizzen Estate. See you in a moment. Now this grand Jacobean manor house was built in the early 17th century by the Sandys family. In 1919, Frederick Noel Hamilton Wills, who bought the property in 1913 and whose descendants still own the estate today, commissioned the renowned architect and designer Edwin Lutyens to design a new east wing with an arched loggia after the house was badly damaged by a fire. The word loggia is Italian and means an outdoor corridor or gallery with a covered roof. He also created a loggia and a striking topiary U walk featuring crenellations echoing those of the loggia. Crenellations are a series of notches on top of a wall resembling a battlement. And the grandson of Noel Wills, Tom Wills, who was a retired major in the army, moved into Mizzen Park in 1980 after his grandmother Marjorie passed away. Tom Wills devoted the next 40 years to maintaining the house, the gardens and the surrounding estate, whilst making his own additions, largely inspired by his passion for trees and forestry. He planted an arboretum with a lovely selection of tree species, which we will see a little bit later on. Tom Will's son, Nicholas, took over ownership in 2016 and has himself made sure that traditions and heritage of the Mizzen estate live on. In 2018, Miserden was awarded the prestigious Historic Houses Garden of the Year Award. And as we wander around this beautiful and timeless place, hopefully you will see why it's had such an accolade. It's a tranquil place in the heart of the glorious Cotswold countryside. And I call it a true Cotswold paradise. Let's go and visit this garden and see what it has to offer.
The gardens, which are open to the public all year round, are known for several idiosyncratic features that rank amongst its key attractions. These include an ancient mulberry tree planted in 1620, a 200 year old sycamore tree that grows through a Cotswold stone wall, an ornate fountain that we are just approaching here, and in the distance an arts and crafts summer house made of reclaimed timber and stone from the estate built in the year of the new millennium. The garden is also well known for its magnificent mixed borders, among the longest in private ownership. They contain a wonderful wide range of roses, clematis, shrubs and herbaceous plants that provide colour right through from spring to autumn.
So we're back at the house, Mizzen Park, where we began this video, and I hope you've really enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, as you always, please like, share, leave a comment. Above all, subscribe. It really does help the channel. I hope you'll come and visit this little bit of paradise in the Cotswolds for yourself one day. You won't be disappointed, as I've said. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. As I said, please subscribe. I'll see you for another video soon, somewhere in the Cotswolds. But for now, it's bye-bye. Bye-bye.